Hey guys, how you doing? That's Debbie and I am going to be working on a poured painting and um, I really wanted to do like a black and white one but um, I decided last minute here better add a little bit extra another color. Well actually I originally was going to add this silver um, it it's a very very pretty it's a pretty silver just a shiny uh shiny silver and um i'm gonna have to tell you who makes that because i i ended up using all that up right now and i can't think who it is offhand it's a little bit different one but um this is violet from liquitex I'm using um, a titanium white. Gotta hold these up higher. Titanium white. And in my titanium white, it is mixed with um, Floetrol, just a little bit of Floetrol, and some water to get it to where I wanted, wanted it. Um, the white that I'm, I, I'm gonna pour it over top of the white again kind of been liking that and this one is Glidden Semi Gloss and it's pretty much the right consistency but if you get some that's not just add a little water to it or a little water in Floetrol I don't think it makes a big difference um, I've done so many different concoctions uh, a couple years ago and now I'm doing all different ones uh, there's a lot of people who put out a lot of different videos and I had to try some new concoctions and I'm making my own so there you go the challenge <laughs> is real um so let's see um the base hopefully you will find it in the description for all the colors is um bell spar uh semi-gloss Every time I draw a blank here, base three, untinted, mixed with, okay, two parts Velspar, one part Floetrol, and one part um, Minwax. Minwax, that is made for oil. You can use the other stuff. I'm the other, I other minwax made for acrylics but i'm using the one that, that's for oil that is converted to use with water so um uh, as i think a step i'll go along i have a, little, a couple drops of um silicone in the silver and the purple so there you go i think that's it and I think we're about ready to get started. I'm just going to use an, uh, this cup. I'm just, I might have a couple other colors because there's a couple poor cups right here. I just can't see uh, wasting cups. <laughs> I hate to waste anything. All right, let's get you pulled down. So anybody got any good quarantine stories to put down below? I'd love to hear them. And what are your plans as soon as this quarantine is over with? Oh, man. Okay. Um, yeah, wait. Since I want to do predominantly black and white. Oh, you know what? I have some of this sitting here from the other pour. I might as well, looks like it'd be a good time. It's um, extreme glitter. I kind of like this stuff. I kind of like the way it sparkles a little bit. I'll just add a little touch of this. Not much. And the purple. Violet, I should say. 
That's right, I only wanted to add a little tiny bit of that. That's it. All right. Um, white and black. This is plenty for this pour. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay. Just going to put a little of this down. This is just, this is just semi-gloss glidden house paint that depending on how thick you get, you can thin it down with water or Floetrol or both if you choose. Well, do we have enough white on there? Yeah, we probably do. I'm sure I got plenty. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of anything anymore. All right, um, let's go. Let's see if we can mix up a little bit in here. I can really see the silver, the silver paint, not the silver from putting it on here. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna put a little black out here. To let it give it a ride to the corner. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. I don't see anything I'm overly excited about yet. So um, I kind of do like this side right here over on this. So I might keep. Penning. You know what I should do, too? I just thought about this. Give it a quick torch before we get too far. Probably should have done that a bit. All the cells that came up. I totally have forgotten. Okay. I even got them on my little things. My little, I see little cells in there. Loaded with them. That big splotch of white right there in the middle. Kind of the middle. See it? I don't know what I think about that. Not too. <laughs> Can't say I like it. Might have to get rid of that. That happened on another one, too. All right. There was something on here I liked. What was it? Was it over here? I think. There's a few things here and there I think are kind of cool. So, It's just so busy. What am I going to do with it? It's a little too busy for me. Before I pour too much off, I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to add a little bit more black. 
in here. It's kind of got a divider line right there, so I might go with that. Let's see what. There's things I like, but. Oh, I don't like that at all. Look what it's doing. No way. I had a little touch of water to it because I thought it was too thick to try to guide in here. Okay. That's what happens when you add water in there. I've got so many cells, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with that. So I thought I would try that. See what happens when it, when I start to slow down its movement right now. Come on, you can move a little more. Now we're what do I think of this? I just think that it is so busy that it needs some spots that aren't busy. I am going to get a little more black. I got some made up over here that might not be too th thin. Shouldn't be too thin.
I like that better already. Look at that. Kind of like it's got that little thing coming up into there. Um, with all the busyness, we got a little area that's not so busy. Your eye needs to take a little break. Yeah. Believe it or not, I kind of I really like the way that came up. I think I I might stop. Let me see what it, how it dries up, if I like it, if I keep it. Can you? I think it'd be cool hung kind of like this. I don't want to lose that, so move it back just a little bit. Okay. All right, guys, I think this is it for this one. <sighs> yep, I think I'm going to leave this one alone for now. And um, see uh, how much I like it later. I... Anyways, guys, thank you. Thank you for stopping by.